This is an amazing find. Woolly mammoth skeletons discovered inside a 15,000-year-old human-built area of traps in Mexico. And it was previously assumed that early hunters only killed woolly mammoths if they were already injured. The discovery of these resourceful traps finally changes that idea totally. This is by Steve McCallmy on Collective Spark, by Marco Margitroff oh, in all that's interesting. And officials in Tultepec outside Mexico City says the first woolly mammoth traps built by humans have been discovered. And according to BBC, these are 15,000-year-old contraptions. And they held the remains of at least 14 mammoths that have been found here, including 800 bones, making this quite a remarkable find. Researchers believe the early hunters who built these traps may have used torches and branches to herd the animals into these pits, which were about 5 feet and 6 inches deep, and the trenches measuring 82 foot in diameter have been undergoing thorough excavation for the last 10 months. Archaeologists previously assumed that early hunters only killed the mammoths if the animals were all injured or trapped. Diego Petro Hernandez, the director of Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History, INAH, said this discovery challenges that belief, suggesting some hunts were, of course, planned. He said the find represents a watershed, a turning point in what we until now imagined being the interaction between hunter-gatherers with these huge herbivores. Perhaps the most exciting, besides what has already been covered, is INAH's belief that even more traps may soon be unearthed. And according to ABC News, AU, the remains of a horse, a camel, were also found in these, found in these traps. And the discovery was made near the site where President Andre Manuel Lopez Abrador's administration is building a new airport. Now the thing is that, okay, horses and camels. Horses 15,000 years ago, mammoth and camels. Camels in Mexico? Mammoths, he said, lived here for thousands of years, according to archaeologist Louis Cordoba. He said the herds grew, reproduced, died, and were hunted, and they lived alongside other species, including horses and camels. This is not the first time people in Mexico City stumbled upon mammoth remains. In the 1970s, workers building a city subway discovered a skeleton while preparing a construction site in the capital's north side. This particular discovery is, however, notable in one major way. Ina said in a statement, this is the largest find of its kind ever made. As it stands, experts involved in the dig revealed that at least five mammoth herds lived in the area. And these exciting extinct giants most recently made the news when a new study explored how the last woolly mammoth on Earth may have met its end. The research posited that the culprit was not a change uh, in the diet uh, well-being nor long-term weather events that led to the demise. Instead, the short-term icing events may have led to the extinction. The animals have garnered the strong following among scientists and historians with some even attempting to bring them back to life. And for now, we'll just have to satisfy ourselves with discoveries like the one in Tultepec, a stunning trove of ancient remains. In this article, woolly mammoth skeletons discovered inside 15,000-year-old human-built traps in Mexico, originally created for All That's Interesting, is published here under Creative Commons on Collective Spark. Isn't that amazing? So you can see how beautiful this pit was. It obviously took the men of the whole community to do this, very well planned, and uh, of course the hunting with the torches in order to somehow direct the mammoths into this pit, the trap. Amazing. So please leave your comments, subscribe, share, and ring the bell for more updates. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, 
most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.